Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you just how easy it is to convert any of your favourite sheet pan dinners or skillet meals to the air fryer with this easy air fryer hash. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. So the recipe I'm showing you to do um, for using oil in the air fryer is going to be like a hash. It's going to be my favourite low fat sausages, a bit of courgette or as you might call it in America zucchini, some sweet potato, some seasoning and then I can show you how to add the oil to the food and then I've got a colander because they're perfect for mixing with and then you can put it together you can throw it all in the air fryer and to be honest it's it's like sheet pan dinner uh, meets skillet meals the way that you can do it in the air fryer it's just a different way of prepping dinner I mean um, for example, I also use this and I cook it first and then I actually load it into silicone and then I use it as a base uh, for mine and Dominic's breakfast casserole. So, you know, it's one of those uh, skills in the air fryer that is brilliant that you can keep using. So first of all, grab yourself a knife and then chop up your sausages into bite-sized chunks. You don't want them too big, you know, into little quarters like this is just perfect. And you can do as many sausages or as few sausages as you want. And I've done six sausages there, so I'm going to save those other sausages for later. And then I recommend a sweet potato because they just cook brilliantly in the air fryer. And if you want to learn how to cook them on their own, then do check out our air fry sweet potato cubes on recipe this. We've also got um, sweet potato slices as well and a few other different recipes with sweet potatoes because we absolutely love them and they just cook so so good in the air fryer i just can never get enough of them i always have at least um two big sweet potatoes sat there in my kitchen ready for an emergency so i can quickly air fry them for whatever we're cooking for dinner so then once you've peeled your sweet potato again you want to be getting it into chunks like with your sausages so i recommend slicing them first and then chopping them into chunks then you know they can be as slices instead if you prefer just try and keep them all the same so that they've got a similar cook time and then you can quickly slice them like that you can always go back to your bowl and if you've got some bits that are really big you can go back and readjust and then one. oh you can double this recipe as well you know it will easily fit in the air fryer but it depends on which air fryer you've got in this recipe we're using our Philips air fryer XL it's the best air fryer we're yet to find one that impresses us any more than this one does and then last the courgette again it's easier if you do it into quarters so the nice little cute chunks. And that's your chopping done. So now you've got this lovely 
big bowl of all your different items and if you think about it like a sheet pan when you put your sheet pan out you're spreading out similar foods so it's kind of like doing that and the skillet and the benefit compared to the skillet is often with the skillet you have to boil your potatoes separately or your potatoes take too long thanks to the air fry it can all be done together and can be done much quicker so then once you've peeled and chopped add your favorite seasonings you can mix and match you could do a Cajun chicken if you wanted. It's totally up to you. I'm adding salt and pepper, garlic, a bit of garlic powder, and some basil. And then once you've added all that, it's time to add the oil. So, like I was mentioning before, it's all about measuring the oil so you don't add too much. So, what I recommend you do is you get out your five mil, pour it, and as you can see, there's your five mil, and you want to add that. And considering you're cooking with sausages, which carry some fat anyway, you only need to add 10 mil. So we go again. And that's all the oil you need. If there was no sausages in there, then I would take it up to 15 mil, so that would be three. And then you literally get your hands in and mix it with your hands. It's important that you mix it with your hands because then you get an even coating on everything and you don't end up with one that's covered in seasoning and the other's not well seasoned. And then you can see if there's any big bits that you want to chop down. For example, I'm kind of looking here and thinking, right, this is a big bit and then it's all ready and then as you can see that's where the oil goes it doesn't go in the air fryer basket it's going on the food so you're using less and less of it and then when you're finished and you see the bottom of your air fryer you'll see that some oils come off the food as well so it's making even lower calories uh, for oil than you would actually expect an air fryer to achieve Right, so I've given my hands a quick clean because seriously, that oil seems to get everywhere and I don't want to cover the air fryer in my oil hands. So, put the air fryer basket out and then literally load in your sausage, sweet potato and courgette hash. Make sure it's nicely spread out so that it's going to air fry well. For example, have a look there and you can see it all in action. And then what I recommend is you start with a lower temperature of 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit, and then a cook time of 12 minutes because you've got quite a lot of food in there and then you're cooking it at a lower temperature and that helps cook the sweet potato in the middle and stops it just from uh, being too crispy too soon and then we can adjust the cook time and temp. And we're done. Right, so our hash has done its 12 minutes and this is the ideal time for what I call the fork test. And this is where you do a, a quick fork test on the, the vegetables just to see how far along they are. And these sweet potatoes, uh, most of them are already fork tender, which is fantastic. So now your main job now is crisping them up and the courgette pieces are lovely as well. And as you can see, the sausages are starting to get a bit of colour on them. So now is the time when we turn the temperature up, cook them some more and finish them off. So, time up to five minutes and the temperature up to, it depends on how brown you like things. You can go with 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit or you can go all the way up to 200 Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. I'm going with 200 because I like them nice and crispy, and then press start again. And we've baked now. Oh, wow. Fantastic, I'm give it a shake so that you can have a proper look. And doesn't that look amazing? That is just how simple it is to cook a hash using the air fryer. always one bit that gets stuck to the bottom of the basket unfortunately but having said that for cleaning the air fryer that's really not too bad 
and then when I was talking about the oil and the excess that it leaves behind in the air fryer, that's what you're talking about, so it's not too bad for pulling afterwards. And then, let's take a close look, shall we? And that's how delicious it looks. You know, you've got a nice mix there with your courgette and your sweet potato and whatnot. You could also mix it up, you know, make any sheet pan dinner your own. For example, instead of the courgette, you could have some mixed peppers in there. You could have mushrooms in there. You could have different types of sausages. You could have some uh, vegan sausages. You could even have tofu in there. There's just so much choice. So go through your uh, back catalogue of favourite sheet pan dinners, you know, or skillet meals, and then that's how easy it is to convert them to the air fryer. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.